Good evening and welcome to Front Page by AIM Network. Tonight, India has crossed a line it has been trying to cross for decades. India has officially launched Dhruv 64, the country's first fully indigenous 1 GHz 64-bit dual-core microprocessor. Designed, developed and validated in India. Not assembled, not licensed, not reverse engineered. Ladies and gentlemen, built. And with this, India is claiming ownership of the brain of modern computing. So if you're ready, let's break down this very proud moment. Dhruv 64 is why, of course, is very important for us to understand why it matters and how it fits into India's much bigger sovereign compute story. But before that, as always, I have to say this, because you do it and you encourage us to do it all the time, please make sure you like, share and subscribe. Now, if you're ready for Dhruv 64, here it is. Dhruv 64 is a 64-bit dual-core microprocessor clocked at 1 GHz, developed by CDAC under the microprocessor development program, supported by Meti. It is built on RISC-V, the open-source instruction set architecture that eliminates license dependency on foreign ship IP. So, in simple terms, no x86 license, no ARM royalties, full architectural control and, of course, this processor is designed to support strategic systems, industrial computing, 5G infrastructure, automotive electronics, industrial automation, IoT and embedded systems, which means Dhruv 64 is a deployment grade processor. And here's the reality. India consumes nearly 20% of the world's microprocessors. But until now, India did not own the processor architecture powering its systems. That's a strategic vulnerability. Microprocessors sit at the heart of defense platforms, telecom networks, power grids, transportation systems, healthcare devices, satellites, data centers. Now, of course, owning the processor means this. Security, control, long-term resilience and technological sovereignty. Dhruv 64 directly reduces India's dependence on imported CPUs for critical infrastructure. And that's the key. This is Atma Nirbhar Bharat, but at the silicon scale. And this didn't happen overnight, ladies and gentlemen. India has been very quietly building a processor lineage. Shakti, IIT Madras, 2018. Defense and strategic use. Ajit, IIT Bombay, 2018. Industrial and Robotics, Vikram, ISRO SCL 2025, Space Grade Processor, Tejas 64, CDAC 2025, Industrial Automation, and now Dhruv 64. Each chip expanded capability. Dhruv 64 is the most mature general purpose indigenous processor India has ever built, and it's not the end. CDAC has already confirmed that next generation processors Dhanush and Dhanush Plus are under active development. Dhruv 64 is built on RISC 5 and that choice is deliberate. RISC 5 is open, license free, modular, customizable. So for India, that means no foreign IP choke points, no export control risk, freedom to optimize for Indian use cases. A shared innovation ecosystem across startups, academia, and industry. And of course, under the Digital India Risk 5, which is the DIR, DIR 5 program, India is building an entire portfolio of indigenous processors, not just one chip. Dhruv 64 is the third processor fabricated under DIR 5, following Tejas 32, Tejas 64. And this is where it gets interesting. Dhruv 64 gives startups a low-cost indigenous platform for prototyping. Researchers, a modern controllable processor. The industry, a trusted domestic alternative for embedded systems. India already has 20% of the world's chip design engineers. Dhruv 64 gives them something very critical. A real chip to build on which goes on to strengthen India's fabulous 
ecosystem, design talent, pipeline and long term semiconductor capability. And as we know that you've been watching front page and the fact that you already knew that this was coming. So kudos to that. Just weeks ago, we brought you exclusive confirmation from CDAC that India is building indigenous CPUs, indigenous GPUs, indigenous AI accelerators. Dhruv 64 is one piece of a much larger stack. India is moving from buying compute to designing compute, from systems to silicon. And this is the same philosophy that powered Param supercomputers and now extends into processor sovereignty. And as always, I'm sure you were waiting for this. Here is the front page take. Dhruv 64 is not trying to beat NVIDIA or AMD. No, that's not the point. The point is this. For the first time, India has a modern 64-bit indigenous processor that it owns end to end. No licenses, no gatekeepers, no external kill switches. So from Tejas to Dhruv and soon Dhanush, India is building something far more valuable than a single chip. It is actually building continuity. And in a world where compute equals power, continuity equals sovereignty. This is not the loudest announcement may be. But you know what? Years from now, this may be remembered as one of the most important ones. Please do let us know how proud this new development makes you feel in the comments below, of course. And if you like the coverage, please do not forget, I'll say it again, to share it with your fellow tech enthusiasts, your colleagues, or, well, that annoying, bin binawing friend who doesn't stop talking about AI and latest technology updates. This is Front Page by AIM Network. Like, share, subscribe, and always remember, think AI, think Dhruv64, think AIM.